Hi Cubies, here's Sir Alexandra and welcome to another quick painting tutorial of me. Today I want to show you how to paint lightning effects on power weapons. This uh, is a question I get very frequently and so I guess I will do this. <clears throat> so what I'm doing here is I'm undercoating uh, this sword now in deadly nightshade but uh, you could also use uh, green, so dark angel green, or necron abyss if you don't have deadly nightshade, or uh, make a dark red variant. Doesn't matter uh, what color exactly you take. <coughs> it's just uh, well to give the sword a nice base coat. So um, other than the non-metallic metal variant uh, with a um, opposing a color transition here. I will make a color transition from a very dark to a bright directly on the sword on both blades. So <clears throat> um, I will do a wet blending for this and if you want to know how to wet blend I won't show this in this video. So just click now on the sword and uh, that will uh, take you to the um, video for the <coughs> um, Blood Raven captain I have made and there I show exactly how to wet blend a sword so and um, well like I said before I won't teach that uh, to you I will now make a wet blending here off camera and I'll be back in a second okay curious there I'm back and here you can see I've made the wet blending from a very dark blue over a mid-tone blue to a bright blue um, this is not all the way up to white because, well, the lightning effect on this uh, should be the brightest part on the blade and not the blade itself. So, I know this is not uh, the most perfect uh, wet blending I've ever done, but uh, for the uh, demonstration purposes that will do. So, <clears throat> then we need uh, this kind of blue tone here. This is uh, a mixture out of uh, Space Wolf Grey and a tiny little bit of a dark blue. See, I've taken here a little bit of from, um, and uh, I've watered it down at least uh, three to one. And uh, well, I will take then my brush, load it uh, full with the paint, take a paper towel, and then I will adjust the amount of paint I have on my brush to the point where I can nicely paint with this wet color. So, what I will do now is I will paint in um, the um, shape of the lightning. And you see how thin this color is <clears throat> that I can, uh, well, barely see this line. But that's uh, what we are uh, looking for. We want to have a, a kind of corona for the, for the lightning itself. And, uh, well, for that you need uh, that much thinned down paint. So then I think that's enough. So we have uh, here one stroke up there, then a little breakdown here and one there. And that's enough. Don't don't overdo it. You also want to see the blade itself. And now <coughs> it's time to use your uh, finest brush you have and with the finest tip like for example, I have here this uh, Colibri Echt Rotmader and uh, well, this tip of the brush is quite nice when it will focus. Ah, there we have it. See? So, and now I'm taking white and I'm using here this uh, color again. So I mix in some white. So it is almost like Space Wolf Grey, a little bit brighter than Space Wolf Grey again. So, and now also uh, adjust the amount of paint on your brush. And this needs to be also quite wet, but not too wet. <coughs> so this is something I can't give you an exact ratio, but uh, well, you have to determine it by your own. So, and what you do now is very gently paint in with a little bit shaky hands the uh, line of the <coughs> lightning 
like that. So, you see, then you have then the lightning on there. And then we will increase that look by having very, very tiny little uh, sparks away from that. And for that, <coughs> uh, you really need to be uh, very, very careful. Just the tip of the brush and, well, two hairs and some air. Very, very gently. Just paint in. You see on the tip of the brush there's one single hair. That's that's almost enough for that. You see? This takes a little practice. But in the end it will be worth it. <coughs> this goes up all the way to the top, like that. So, and now we take pure white, also water down a little bit. <coughs> give some highlights into the lightning itself so here and there some bright spots and again two hairs and some hair very gently barely touching uh, then you see the tip of the brush has dried and that's very very <coughs> Not good, so just put the p uh, brush again into the pot of water and then you are good to go again. Very gently. And don't overdo it, I think that's, that's okay. So, yeah, that looks quite nice. So, and now <coughs> I will adjust this color because it's uh, too white for me right now. So, and for that, I will uh, give it a, <coughs> a glaze with uh, some wash, a zoom and blue wash I take now. So, just simply take the paint on the brush, go over the blade with it, like that. But don't let it pool, just, just glaze over it. See? And it slightly turns the the color to a more bluish tone. Like that. And voila. The lightning is done. I hope you liked this little tutorial and we see us in the next video. You're Alexandra.